Hello everyone, so today we are going to talk about the histology of gallbladder. The gallbladder is a pear-shaped distendable sac which stores and concentrates bile. This organ is attached to the undersurface or the visceral surface of the liver. When we take a look at a section of gallbladder under the microscope, the first thing that we see are the three layers of the microanatomy. These three layers are the mucosa, the muscularis and the serosa or adventitia layer. Now let's talk about the mucosa. At first glance, the main thing that comes to our notice is that the mucosa is thrown into many folds. Sometimes this may also resemble the villi of the intestine. But these mucosa are present only in a partially distended or an empty gallbladder. In a properly distended gallbladder or a full gallbladder, these uh, folds are not very conspicuous. The mucosal surface consists of simple columnar epithelium and the apical part of these epi epithelial cells, they have got microvilli in it. So if we look at an electron micrograph of these gallbladder cells, then we can immediately see that the cells have got, like this one is an epithelial cell, which is a tall columnar cell. We can appreciate the length over here. So this is a tall columnar cell and the apical part has got modifications in the form of microvilli. The cells have got one more particular feature and that is that the adjacent cells have got junctional complexes in the apical portion but if we go more towards the basal part the, those junctional complexes are not present but instead of that we have got some sort of sinuses. These are the intracellular spaces. These are the intercellular spaces and these are sinus-like spaces that are present between two adjacent cells. So this is one cell, this is another cell and in between we have got this intercellular space. So this space basically means that the function of the gallbladder is to concentrate the bile. So it takes up almost about 90% of the water out of the watery bile and concentrates the bile in its lumen. The second portion that of the mucosa is the lamina propria. The lamina propria here is composed of connective tissue but it has got no lymphatics but it will have the other features of a connective tissue like blood vessels autonomic nerve endings but it does not have any lymphatics the mucosa of the gallbladder resembles the mucosa of the intestine but it differs in two aspects and these are that there are no mucosal glands or there are no muscularis mucosa so the mucosa of the gallbladder does not have any muscularis or any mucosal glands. Moreover, the, the histology or the microanatomy of the gallbladder does not even have a submucosa. So these two layers, the mucosa, muscularis mucosa and the submucosa are absent in case of gallbladder. The next layer is the muscularis externa or the fibromuscular layer. The fibromuscular layer is mainly composed of randomly arranged smooth muscle fibers. In between the muscle fibers, there is dense connective tissue which is rich in elastic fibers. The layer outside or outer to this muscularis layer or the fibromuscular layer is mainly made up of connective tissue and it is called the adventitia or the serosa. Like I have mentioned earlier that the gallbladder is present on the undersurface or the is attached to the undersurface or the visceral surface of the liver. So the portion of the gallbladder that is in contact with the visceral surface of the liver will not be covered by the peritoneal covering. Yeah. So the outermost layer is either adventitia or serosa depending upon whether the part is covered by peritoneum or not. So this is all about gallbladder at microanatomy. This is not a very complex slide. This is a fairly simple slide. The only thing that we need to remember is that this slide does not have any submucosa or muscularis mucosa. What it has is numerous folds with, uh, with uh, col tall columnar cells, which is very much similar to the arrangement that we've seen in most part of the GIT. But the thing that stands out here is the absence of mucosal glands and the submucosa or the muscularis mucosa. And the Muscularis externa has got randomly arranged smooth muscles. These smooth muscles are randomly arranged because they will have to squeeze the gallbladder in order to get the concentrated bile out of the gallbladder and into the cystic duct. And from there, it will go to the common bile duct and into the duodenum. 
so this is all about the histology of gallbladder so if you like this video just give a, a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel and if you have any doubts or any questions or queries regarding the histology of gallbladder please put them into the comment section below thank you